Do you already own a fabric capacity or are you planning to purchase a new fabric capacity? Do you think that the fabric capacity reservation option is too expensive for you and you are looking for some ways for cost management? If it sounds like you, this video is for you. Hello, I'm Sohail Bakhshi, a Microsoft Data Platform MVP with a very warm welcome from biinsight.com. This is the second episode of my series on Microsoft Fabric cost management using Azure Logic Apps. In the first video, we looked at the basics and we implemented a very simple workflow on Logic Apps to suspend and resume our fabric capacity. In this video, we are covering much more details and we will implement a solution, a fully working solution that looks at a time frame from eight o'clock in the morning to four o'clock in the afternoon to resume the fabric capacity and between four o'clock in the afternoon and 8 a.m. suspending the capacity to ensure that it doesn't incur any extra costs for us. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'll encourage you to have a look at it where I looked at the cost uh, saving options uh, using this method. I will put the links down below. Let's do it. Let's open the Logic App solution that we created before. I put the links uh, down below uh, to the previous video. I can select the Logic App uh, from here if I've used it before. Otherwise, I can quickly search for it, Logic Apps, and then I select Logic App, which navigates me to all Logic Apps that I have uh, on my um, Azure uh, tenant. Uh, let me select the previous solution, which is uh, pause resume fabric capacity to go and edit this one. Now I want to add a new action, which is a reader resource from the Azure Resource Manager. I'll click reader resource. I do that because I want to get the current status of my capacity, right? So I put the subscription in and the resource group, I select the resource group that my capacity, fabric capacity is stored in. Uh, resource provider is Microsoft Fabric and short resource ID is capacities slash capacity name. Then I add client API version. I put the links down below on how to find it. Now I want to add a condition to see if my capacity is paused. I want to resume it, otherwise do nothing. So I add a condition. To read the status of my capacity, I can use this expression uh, that I add that in. The expression gets the status property of read the resource action, which is the previous action. I also put this expression in the description below. So I add that expression in. And here's the thing. If the status is equal to paused, then I want to resume it. So I select the invoke resource operation and change the action to resume. Now I need to put the invoke resource operation into the true condition of my condition action by drag and drop into the true section of the condition. Now let me save the solution by clicking on the save button. As you can see, the run button is disabled. That is because I forgot to enable my logic app workflow so i go back to the logic app page and i click on the enable button to enable it i can now run my workflow by clicking on the run button and select run as you can see the workflow is now triggered let's go ahead and click on the refresh button to see the run history as you can see on the run history it is running let's click on it as you can see, the workflow successfully triggered and uh, I would expect to see my capacity is now active, which is active, which means that the workflow just worked. 
Let's pause the capacity for now and go back to Logic Apps to continue our implementation. So on my browser, I'll go to the other tab, which is my Logic App, and then click on my Logic App. And then I click the edit button to edit my Logic App. The next thing is to get my current date and time for my local time zone. To do so, I need to change my Logic App workflow by inserting a new step between recurrence and read a resource action. I need to convert the UTC date time to my local time zone using the convert time zone action. The convert time zone parameters, I insert an expression uh, to get the current time zone in UTC format, which is UTC now expression, and then I click add button. I leave the source time zone as UTC and change the destination to my time zone, which is Auckland and Wellington. Now I click the time unit and select enter custom value. Then I enter capital HH for hour, colon, and then MM for minute. Now we need to add a new condition after read the resource step. Click add an action and then type in condition, select condition. I now get the local time zone by clicking on getting data from the previous step and then selecting converted time. We want to check if the local time is greater than or equal to 8 o'clock in the morning. I click the new item and then I again select converted time. For the condition, I select less than or equal to and I put in 16.00 to 0.24 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's rename the condition to check time of day. Now we move the previous condition by dragging and dropping it into the true condition of check time of day. Let's rename it to check if the status is Pause, uh, because that is actually what this condition is doing so it is best to name it something more user-friendly to make it more readable let's also rename the invoke resource operation to invoke resource operation resume to make it more self-explanatory so far our logic apps just get the current date and time based on our time zone and looks at the status of our fabric capacity if it is paused, it ensures that it is resumed and running. If the time is between 8 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The next thing we are going to do is to cover the time frame between 4 o'clock in the afternoon and 8 a.m. to ensure that our capacity is paused. So let's do it. We now only need to copy the entire condition that we created before by right clicking on the action and copy entire action and then right clicking on the plus button and paste as an action on the false condition of the check time of day condition. Now let's rename it to active. We also need to replace the condition to active. Then we change the invoke resource operation. We just first rename it to suspend and then we also change the action name to suspend. And I save the changes. I just go back and check if my fabric capacity is paused, which is paused. And I switch back to my logic app and I just run it. I hit the refresh button to refresh the run history as you can see it is 337 so I would expect logic app to run the capacity let's switch back to my capacity as you can see capacity is now active we are now going to take one step further and detect the working days which is Monday to Friday I show you two methods to do it in logic apps let's continue For the first method, I'm going to use the expression that I published on my website. I just copy it and paste it into Notepad++. Let's have a look at this expression and see what it does. Let's see how the expression works. It gets the current date time in UTC and then it converts to my local date time zone, which is New Zealand date time zone. 
then it gets the day of the week and turns it to a string and then it looks at it to see if it contains one, two, three, four, five, which resembles Monday to Friday. If you are in a different time zone, don't worry. I put a link on my website to find out Microsoft default time zones. You can find your default time zone in this web page. You can find these information in the description. Now let's edit our logic apps. I need to modify the recurrence trigger. I click on settings and then I click add trigger condition and I paste the expression over here. I save the changes and that is pretty much it. Now let's have a look at the second option. The second option is to change the recurrence frequency from hour to week. We do not change the time zone or start date. We need to select the working days and we also need to select all hours during the day that we want the trigger to run. There is a preview section to show us what to expect from the trigger to run. If you want more flexibility or if you feel more comfortable with expressions, then use the first method, otherwise the second method. At the end of the day, the decision is yours. So far, we have created the solution in Logic Apps to ensure that our fabric capacity runs only between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. on weekdays. But my scenario is actually more complex than that. I do not want my capacity to run during Christmas period. And that is exactly what we are going to find out in the next video. But for now, that is pretty much it. And thank you very much for tuning in. And I hope that you've learned something new in this video. Catch you later.